In violent operations with the apparent connivance of the police. We say so because the Kenya police never showed up the entire day this was happening. Miraculously, they have showed up today, 24 hours later, and after the damage. These acts are reminiscent of the Mugambe land invasions in Zimbabwe. A legitimate self-respecting government cannot use drugs to settle political disputes or to stop the exercise of the constitutional right to demonstrate. The world watched on TV and online as Kenyans marched, danced, sang, and cheered peacefully in the neighborhoods of Kawangware and Kibra yesterday. Our peaceful protest was met with acts of chaos designed by the government as we left Kibra. The day would have ended without much incident, but as we left Kibra, along the Langata uh, bypass exit, they logged our convoy and the supporters who were escorting us out with tear gas and provoked acts of violence on peaceful demonstrators. This brutality did not end there, as police and government hired goons further invaded the peaceful Kibra neighborhood under the cover of darkness, tormenting residents with crude weapons, bullets, and like a repeat history, they torched and burned the PCA church and the Karanja mosque in Kibra. The invasion of private land, slaughter and looting of animals, targeted attacks on private business, the burning of homes, and torching of places of worship have been at the heart of brutal, brutal, and regarded operations against progressive forces dating back to the dark days of one party era. We note the overwhelming silence of our international friends and the conspicuous absence of brutal, brutal, who, who, who are planning, planning with this people, with this people of the dark Monday attacks. He must be held responsible for yesterday's destruction, mayhem, arrests, injuries, and loss of life.